I sometimes get emails from people say we are very confused who is our master because there are so many masters around and we look around and we don't know who is our master. So I said don't worry when the master will come his unconditional love will pull you. The man wrote back to me he says there are two masters both of them love me so much and both are pulling me. I said you are very lucky people don't find one you have found two. <laughs> so follow the one where your heart takes you. It is a pull on the heart. It's a pull in our own self. This is not a pull of the body. This is not a pull on our senses. This is not even a attraction like normal attraction amongst people. This is something that happens in our soul. Our inmost self feels that this is what I was waiting for. It's a sensation that comes like this. There is a, a friend of mine and he lives in United States in Bruce and he told me that he was so pulled by an experience he had that he moved over from New Jersey, the East Coast, into that place, Bruce, Wisconsin, where he thought that I will be living for a long time. And so he said he'll be very close to me. He told me his brother and his brother's wife are coming, but they are not at all interested in the spiritual path. And uh, I don't know if they would like to see you or not. So ultimately his brother and the wife came and uh, he was hesitant to introduce them to me, saying that they don't believe in these kind of things, they're orthodox people in their own belief system. But once they met me and they came to a talk of mine, they wanted an interview. Both husband and wife, when they met me, they said, what you are saying, we have been waiting since childhood. This is something that we have found from childhood we were waiting. I said, you never told anybody. He says, no, we, how could we tell? We never met anybody who we could tell. This is not one single instance. I have seen so many people when they find any master giving the instructions of the highest level, they say this we have been waiting from childhood as if this was a long standing desire in their heart. The seeking was there all the time, but they could not say because they were being conditioned by outside things. They were being conditioned by whatever was available to them. They were by conditioned by religion, conditioned by the belief systems of their parents and friends. So when they suddenly found this possibility that there is somebody responding to their soul, to the inner seeking, they get overwhelmed and the love at that time automatically comes. It is not a development. Love cannot be developed. Attachments and attractions can be developed to some extent by process of thinking about it and talking about it. But love comes natural to us because it belongs to our soul and not to our mind, nor to our senses, nor to our body. The empowerment of the mind by the soul makes the mind work in a certain way according to what its limits are. The mind has certain limits, it cannot go beyond them and the rest of the functions are left to the soul itself, which is our true identity, which is immortal, which was never born, which, was, which will never die which is always connected with the truth, which is always connected to its origin. There is no separation at all between God and soul except awareness. That the awareness becomes individuated and think that we are individual and that the totality is called God. But there's no difference, we're always a part of that. When we reach our true home through the spiritual journey, which we call journey because we are only used to journeys, when we reach there, we discover we never left. It, we were always there, but we were just unaware of where we were and the whole process of spiritual evolution and spiritual progress is a question of going to find out who we really are. And when you find out who you are, you discover you are the only one that everybody is the same one, that everything is the same one, that all universes are the same one, that the whole show is taking place in one totality of consciousness. That's it. It's a great knowledge is the greatest and available to us at this state of a dream state, sixth dream state in which we are today, which we think is the only reality to be able to discover all this in this uh, fake place, which we think is real is a great miracle. I think the greatest miracle is we are human beings with this capacity. I don't know any other, any other greater miracle than in fact as a human being, we have the capacity within this body, 
by just using things gifted to us like attention and power of concentration and imagination. These three elements given to us as functions, normal functions, which can be applied to discovering who we are, is the greatest miracle. And if we apply these, we can all go in there and find out.